Hello friends, welcome back once again to the GDC YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the important general pharmacology questions with a very easy tricks so that you can solve all these type of questions in your competitive exam. Okay, so let's have questions one by one. So first question we are taking. First question urinary alkalizing agent are administered in case of poisoning due to which drug okay means the question are asking that under which poisoning condition you will give the urinary alkalization okay so here options are weak acid weak base strong acid strong base first of all just put a simple thing in your mind that all your drugs are either weak acid or weak base these are not a strong acid and a strong base because a strong acid and a strong base ionize at all the pH range because these are the strong okay so if they are ionized then they cannot absorb from the GIT or they cannot act as the and have a very good volume of distribution so our all the drugs should be weak acid or weak base now the question is that means here we have removed two options that strong acid and strong base these, these cannot be our answer now the question options have weak acid and weak base so always put in your mind this is the poisoning condition in the poisoning condition you want to ionize your drug okay so all the acidic drug will be ionized at basic pH while basic drug ionized as acidic pH. So you have given the alkalinization. So you what you should give? Poisoning. What will be the poisoning? Mainly here your poisoning will be weak acid. Your right answer will be weak acid because just simple thing weak acid ionizes at which pH basic pH basic pH while weak base ionize at which pH acidic pH so in this question you have given alkalinization to remove out or excrete out so alkalinization means you have made the pH what? You have made the pH basic. So which drug will be ionized at basic pH? Right answer will be weak acid. So here the drug poisoning of weak acid happens for which to treat you have given the urinary alkalinization. Now the next question which of the following drug has maximum chance of absorption from gastric mucosa just opposite of this question simple thing here in this question you want the absorption and to absorb the drug the nature of the drug should be unionized and unionization will carried out in the same pH means acidic drug <coughs> Acidic drug unionized at which pH? Acidic pH. Acidic pH unionization. Okay. Unionization means absorption. And basic drug. At the basic pH, what happens? Unionization means absorption. So you want to absorb from the gastric mucosa that is acidic pH. So at the acidic pH, only acidic drug will be absorbed. Now in the questions, you have the morphine, hyacin, diclofenac, and quinine. If we find out that diclofenac, this drug is the propionic acid derivative NSAIDs okay so this have the acidic nature so this drug will absorb from the gastric mucosa 
very well while these other three drugs are the basic in nature so they will absorb from the intense time next all are second messenger except you have the options cyclic amp ip3 daz and duodenal cyclase in the gpcr you have three types messenger first messenger second messenger and third messenger always first messenger will be your drug means the drug which you have administered or taken that will be the first messenger second messenger cyclic amp cyclic gmp ip3 daz these all are the second messenger okay and third messenger always will be the calcium ion so into the question you have asked all are second messenger except means cyclic amp okay correct ip3 yes daz have there and duodenal cyclase this is not the second messenger this is an enzyme which is responsible to produce cgmp so here your right answer will be the vinyl cyclase d options vinyl cyclase next question number 4 which drug not metabolized by acetylation you have to found out that which drug and are the uh, metabolized by the acetylation all the sip all the sip undergoes the acetylation sip means what s s have the sulfonamide and sulfonamide nature have the dapsone hydralazine here iso niaze and p for procainamide so these are the drugs which undergoes the acetylation comes to the options isoniazine dapsone hydralazine metaclopramide all first three undergoes the acetylation except metaclopramide means here our options will be metaclopramide now the fifth question if the clearance of a drug is 160 ml per minute find out the important points 160 ml per minute this is the clearance and vd volume of distribution is 40 liter then what will be the loading dose to attain plasma concentration here we have to find out plasma concentration what we want 4 mg per 4 mg per liter in this question we have the formula that is loading dose is equal targeted plasma concentration targeted targeted plasma concentration multiplied by the volume of distribution so what we have here we have the clearance volume of distribution and plasma concentration and we have to find out the loading dose so loading dose will be what will be here loading dose is equal targeted plasma concentration what will be the 4 and volume of distribution will be 40 so final answer will be 160 mg that is D option is your correct. So the question arises: Why this clearance have given in the question? This point is just only to confuse you because your formula do not need the clearance. This is the simple formula. I hope so. This question will help you. Thank you.